Most of my childhood was spent dancing. In this picture, I'm on the end in front of the conductor. I'm about nine years old and we're rehearsing the four little swans from Swan Lake. I can still remember the entire dance. You stay attached like that and kind of hop back and forth across the stage, making patterns and moving your heads like swans in synchronicity. I mention my dance background because I think doing something so intensely in my formative years has affected how I see the world and therefore my artwork. I really see line as movement. This painting is a good example of that. It's called Entanglement, and it's very much about patterns of motion. For the last several years, I've been working on a series called Tuning Fields. This is Tuning Fields 172, a large work on paper. I started the series after participating in an intensive weekend workshop on harmonic healing. I came back seeing things in a different way and curious about the deep rhythms that exist around us. I frequently work on paper and use small works on paper as a way to compose and explore new ideas within a series. These works will often lead to larger paintings. Here are six small works, all acrylics on paper, that show some of the places that the tuning fields have gone. I really like working in series. I find it's helpful for me to have certain rules that I'm following, and then something happens that creates an anomaly and starts a new thread or a group within the series. This painting is an example of one of the developments. I started playing with this white ground and the natural movement of the paint dripping, and it led to more paintings exploring this. This is a large oil, Tuning Fields 276. Sometimes the pieces end up having a strong musical feeling to them. When my show was up last year at Burnham Wood Galleries in New York, a good friend who's an amazing jazz trombonist, Art Barron, came on the last day of the show and walked through responding to the paintings with his horn. Here's a clip of Art. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> this is a very large work on paper, about four and a half feet by six feet. One of the best things about working on the East End is the vibrant community of artists out here. I feel so lucky to have good friends whose work I admire and opinions I seek out. One of them, Eric Fischel, was in my studio looking at this painting and said, I could really imagine that on fabric. You should think about that. At first, I didn't really know what to do with that, but I did keep thinking about it, and I ended up working with a printer and making it into this moving fabric piece. This is a video of it at Art Miami last year. It's printed on two fabrics suspended to move freely. While it was there, an old friend from my dancing days came and saw it and got in touch with me and said it reminded him so much of some of the costumes we used to wear, particularly this one I wore in this ballet I performed at Cleveland Ballet. And I realized he was right. I loved this costume. It was this beautiful silk, and the whole dance was about making it move like water. So you never know how an experience you had might find its way into your creative life someday. This is a detail from a painting I made after working with the fabrics. One of the main ideas in the tuning fields is the layers of motion and rhythm. And one of the things that happened with the fabrics is this kind of depth from the gauzy layers. And I wanted to get some of that feeling into the paintings. So I was going for that in this painting. This is another of the latest paintings in the series, also made after those first fabric experiments, and going for the same feeling. It's tuning fields 302 and acrylic on linen. It's about three and a half feet by five feet. I'm always interested in how these different projects influence each other. Here's a painting from another series I started last year called Journal. This is winter. And next to it's a photograph I took at the same time. I was struggling in the studio. I was sort of trying to break out from the tuning fields, and I was taking a lot of photos of the incredible snowstorms we were having. I didn't intend to work from this photograph, but they both happened within days of each other. So though I consider myself an abstract painter, I'm definitely influenced by my surroundings. This is another in the series journal, summer 2014. I work on a few series concurrently. One or another will be my main focal point at any time. Recently, I also started a group of drawings that I created after watching some dances on video. Here's a clip of one I love. It's William Forsyth's In the Middle, Somewhat Elevated. <laughs> Hmm. 
So what I love about that piece is the lines that they're making, literally drawing in space. I find it very inspiring, and I've made a series of sketches off of this dance. This is one of the paintings that came out of the sketches, and I call it Dance Three. This is another painting in the dance series. So this is one that came from working off a video of a different dance, a Martha Graham solo called Lamentations. In this one, I'm trying to capture that movement with the lines, but also starting to find the shapes that were being made and getting more interested in working with those shapes. And this has led me to something I'm playing with now, finding interesting shapes in these dance drawings, making collages out of them, and then using the collages as jumping off points for paintings. This is a collage of painted paper on paper. I've really been having fun with these pieces, enjoying a sense of experimentation and play, and they're helping me understand line and shape in a new way. Some of my greatest excitement in the studio is when a development in something I'm working on will tell me what to do next. Sometimes it's a little scary when it leads somewhere that might be considered too different from my main body of work, but to me it feels more like a different lens through which I'm viewing the things I'm interested in. This is the first painting in the series. It's a big acrylic on canvas, and I'm calling it Celebration. Finally, I thought I would conclude with some shots of my studio on Shelter Island. I think it's equally beautiful in the summer and the winter, and I'm very grateful to be able to live and work in such an inspiring place and interesting community. Thank you so much for having me here tonight.